The month of November sales numbers are in, and it looks like we've slid back into familiar patterns for both sales price and sales volume. And that's not a big surprise, but I think it speaks to the impact of the mortgage rule changes in the month of October, a month that we referred to as being a building block moving forward, but not a trend. We didn't have enough information at the time to call it a trend. Sales volume in the month of November totaled 1,227 units, which represents a 3% decrease year over year and a 17% decrease over long-term averages. Sales prices also decreased 0.6% over the month of October and 4.1% year over year. The market in 2016 has been very segmented, and November was a continuation of that. Different districts, price points, and categories of product have reacted very differently from one another. We've seen pockets of sales in certain areas, but overwhelmingly, as we've seen throughout most of 2016, we're still seeing a disconnect between buyers and sellers' expectations. For example, sales volume in the detached segment of the market has declined by 3% year to date, but the apartment segment of the market has seen a 16% decline. On pricing, the detached segment of the market has seen a decline of just over 3%, but the apartment segment of the market has seen just under 6%. Another example of the segmentation we continue to see in our market is the improved sales activity in the detached segment for the city centre, northwest and west districts of the city. It can't be overstated how important it is for consumers to drill down and ask questions of their realtor on what's happening in their particular city district, their product type and at their price point. This is a very segmented market and the best source of business intelligence for consumers comes from members of the Calgary Real Estate Board. Dude, I still got 30 days left. Wait your turn.